live in Amman and heading to Dead Sea, visiting three significant Christian biblical places on the way. Mount Nebo, where Moses ascended and could see the Promised Land, Bethany, where Jesus was baptized, and Madaba Church, with mosaic map of Holy Land on the floor. Madaba is an ancient settlement that dates back to the Bronze Age, whose course was charted throughout the Old Testament and has been ruled by the Nabataeans, the Romans, the Byzantine, and the Umayyad. Ironically, it's not Madaba's long history that seals its significance. As for more than a thousand years, the city was lost in devastating earthquake in the 8th century. This rather modest 19th century Greek Orthodox Church houses a treasure of early Christianity. Rediscovered in 1984, and now part of the flow of the peaceful Greek Orthodox Church, the 6th century Madaba map is to this day the oldest known map of the Holy Land and the most exact before modern cartography was developed. Crafted in 560 AD, the map has 157 captions in Greek, depicting all the major biblical sites of the Middle East from Egypt to Palestine. It was originally around 15 meters to 25 meters long and 6 meters wide, and once contained more than 2 million pieces. Although much of the mosaic has been lost, enough remains to sense the complexity of the whole. The next stop is Mount Nebo, a rocky outcrop towering 1,000 meters above the desert and dry farmlands below. is one of Jordan's most important Christian holy sites. It is the highest point of the ancient kingdom of Moab and where Moses, according to the Old Testament, was granted a view of the Promised Land. Moses died atop Mount Nebo shortly after but his body buried in the valley of Moab and his grave never to be found. A serpentine cross sculpture atop Mount Nebo was created as a symbol of the miracle of the brazen serpent invoked by Moses in the wilderness and the cross upon which Jesus was crucified. A place of pilgrimage for early Christians from Jerusalem, a small church was built here in the second half of the 4th century to commemorate the life and death of the man, regarded as a prophet by all three religions, Judaism, Christianity and Islam. During the excavations in the early 20th century, the basilica with chapels were found, but original mosaics created on the walls and the floor in the year 530 AD. The mosaics show a scene of hunters, farmers and animals, ornate with trees and flowers. In the recent years, a new church, the Moses Memorial Church, was built over the original ancient one, which provides better protection for the mosaics. Western Jordan is a key part of a wider area known as the Holy Land and is a home to several important religious sites. Bethany Baptism Site is an archaeological world heritage site on the eastern bank of the Jordan River on the border to Israel, reputed to be the original location of the baptism of Jesus by John the Baptist. The baptism site is also known as Bethabara and can be traced back to the 6th century based on the Madaba map that we previously talked about. Due to the site's location at the border between Jordan and Israel and the associated security concerns, all visits here require a guided tour included in your ticket price. 
We started the tour with a small museum, showcasing artifacts and exhibits that tell the story of Bethany beyond the Jordan. It also contains the port's clothing, paintings and rare historic books. The short walk from the museum and we are there. The spring of John the Baptist, where Jesus Christ was baptized, the most significant place of the Holy Land. In the year 2000, a place was sanctified with an open air mass by Pope John Paul II. Bethany Beyond the Jordan complex covers a large empty area with the remains of more than 20 Christian sites. The Greek Orthodox Church, with its gilded domes, boasts of intricate frescoes and murals, ornately decorated with colorful iconography, heavy dark wood paneling and sumptuous gold detailing. Accompanied by a guard, you will pass through a gate to a wooden platform that leads to the murky Jordan River, which here is a little more than a creek lined with reeds. This is the only place that civilians can currently touch the river in the entire Jordan, as it runs along the border between Jordan and Israel. If you enjoyed watching the video, I encourage you to subscribe, click like and hit notification bell button to get updated of the new releases.